Hey guys, Omerko here, self-taught web developer, and I'm here with another video for my Angular Material series. This time we will take a look into bottom sheet component from Angular Material. Before we start with this video, I would also like to mention that next to YouTube you can also find me on a Skillshare. On Skillshare I mostly post co courses for my Let's Code series. And the Let's Code series is a series where we together create uh, real life projects with a variety of different technologies. Now let's start with this video. First of all, let's talk about the bottom sheet component and see what it is. Usually we will have some button that should trigger our bottom sheet component. So basically when we click on that button, then our bottom sheet should pop up from the bottom of our page, like in this example that you can see right now on my screen. In that pop up we are also offered with uh, different actions and options that we can do. Now let's code this bottom sheet component. First of all I will go into my terminal where I will create my own component which will be used to render our bottom sheet component. For that I will run ngg for generate c for component and I will generate the component in components folder and the component will be called bottom sheet and that's good enough. So once the component is generated I will go into my app component html file and in this file first of all I will hide, hide this batch component and here we can put bottom sheet comment and let's render our bottom sheet component here so app bottom sheet and that's good enough I will also put the end comment here of end of bottom sheet. Sheet. This also means that if you would go right now on your local host 4200, you should see bottom sheet works from your own bottom sheet component. And as we also wish to use bottom sheet component from Angular Material, well, in our app module, we must import that proper module for that component. So here in Material Components, I will import mat bottom sheet module from, and this will be from at Angular slash material slash bottom sheet also this mat bottom sheet module must be into well passed into imports array as well with this now in place we can use well bottom sheet component from angular material so i will go into my own bottom sheet component html file and here first of all i will set the div this div can also hold a different style like margin top to 50 pixel and also text align center and in this div I will first of all create the paragraph uh, let me use this properly paragraph which will say you have received a file click this button to view well view it this also means that right now here we will create that button which will eventually open our own bottom sheet. So here I will use a button file and to this file I will just pass test, uh, text of open file. That's it. On our local host right now you should see that sentence which is you have received a file. Click this button to view it. I obviously mistyped here. And also open file which currently won't do anything. Now as our bottom sheet will also use different HTML, well there will be quite a lot of HTML with different actions for our own bottom sheet, let's generate the specific component and you will also see here how, how can you call that component from another component as an example. So first of all let's, let's generate such component, so ng g for generate c for component and I will generate my component in components, then bottom sheet. And I will go into specific components for this bottom sheet, so components once again. And this component will be called bottom sheet pop-up. Let's generate this one. This bottom sheet pop-up as a component will use different actions for our own bottom sheet. But those actions will be rendered as a list. And in material we have a specific list module that we can import. So let's go into app module once again. And here, first of all, let me move this, let me move this component here to a top because it is not in uh, material components. And let's import our own uh, list module here. So import mat list module from at angular slash material slash list. 
Also, make sure to pass this math list module in your own imports array down below. So now to create the HTML for that bottom sheet pop-up, I will open up my bottom sheet pop-up component HTML file and here as we imported that material list, let's use element called math nav list here and inside we will hold all of our actions. Each of our actions should be an anchor tag and it can lead us somewhere, but for me I will set this href just to hash as an example and here we can also pass math list item. Even though we are using a list uh, list HTML element from material, we are able to pass this attribute of math list item to an anchor tag, which will serve us as a list item. So we don't need to use that uh, uh, normal workflow with uh, unordered list and the list items. So for my own list item here, which will be my action for my uh, bottom sheet pop-up, here I will use a span element and I will say open. So the text for this action will be open. One cool thing in this material list is that we can pass math line here, which will mean that this open will be in one line of our own action. And we can copy and paste this pen immediately below for another line to offer more description to this action, like view this file locally. Now to speed up, uh, this up a bit, I will copy and paste this action or anchor tag three more times. And here, now let's change the text a bit. For example, Google Gmail and the description here will be send this file via email. Then for the third action, it will say Google Docs and description. Here I will change that as well. It will be open this file in Docs and the last action will be Google Drive and description for that will be save this file in a drive and those will be our, our own actions. In our local host 4200 there should be no difference because we didn't add anything to our own bottom sheet component. We created and modified our own bottom sheet pop-up component which currently is not called anywhere. Even though we can click this open file button it won't do anything. So let's go back into our code and make sure to open our bottom sheet pop-up component from our, our own bottom sheet component by clicking on this open file button. So to open our own pop-up for our bottom sheet, I will close all of my files and I will go into bottom sheet.component.ts file. We will make sure to open that pop-up from this bottom sheet component. So here, first of all, in my constructor, I will import the private property of bottom sheet and it will be the set to a type of math bottom sheet which by the way must be imported here at the top from at angular slash material slash bottom sheet and we will use this bottom sheet as a reference to our own bottom sheet pop-up component and that way you will see how can you open that component uh, by calling it from another component. So to do that here I will create a function well method called open file. This method will be just a void function and inside I will use this that bottom sheet and now as this is a material bottom sheet on it we will have a open uh, method which will accept some component as you can see here by the description it will accept the component passed into it the component itself will be our own bottom sheet pop-up component which again must be imported here at the top now that we have this function we can quickly go into our own bottom sheet html and in our HTML, just in our button, we can use click event and on that event we can call open file and that should be, well, pretty much it. So going back to my localhost 4200, we should have some difference right now. For example, if I would click on my open file right now, we can see this bottom sheet at the bottom with our own, well, actions which will be open, Google Gmail, Google Docs and Google Drive. So here we can click on some of the actions and we can see that we'll just tick to close it. Usually it should open that action on maybe external link, for example. And also there is no nice animation behind it. Well, there is no animation because we didn't close our bottom sheet properly. So now let's make sure when we select some of the actions, we also close our bottom sheet properly. To close our bottom sheet properly, we must, well, close it from our own actions. So for that, I must open my bottom sheet 
pop-up component uh, TypeScript file and here as we import the reference to our own bottom sheet we can import here a private property of bottom sheet uh, ref for a reference and we will set this to a type of mat bottom sheet but don't use bottom sheet as a component but bottom sheet reference and this reference will reference well already one of our own bottom sheets so in our own example we can set here a generic type for that which will should be the type of our own bottom sheet pop-up component so we can simply pass that component as our own generic type so now let's create the method to close our bottom sheet properly so down below i will use a select action method this method will accept some event which usually is mouse event and here it will be a void function so here what we can see is uh, well what can what we can do is use this dot bottom sheet ref and on it we will have dismiss method this dismiss method will just well dismiss our own bottom sheet so it should have some nice animation and proper closure now next to this as we are also having our own well anchor tags we can use this event and use prevent default on it so basically for example if you are trying to lead your own user to a different page or something like that you can stop it here for testing purpose and now that we have this select action we must go into our own bottom sheet pop-up component html and on each of our anchor tags here i will use a click event so click and on it I will use this select action method this select action as you know must accept some kind of event which is usually our own mouse uh, event so now once again going into our local host 4200 we can see this open file click on that we will open this bottom sheet let's select google docs and we can see that normal animation and proper closure to this bottom sheet if you like this video for bottom sheet component for angular material you should also know that i have the entire angular material series so make sure to check that and if you wish to check that down in the description you will have a link to that as well but this will be all for this video guys thank you all for watching if you liked what you saw please click like and subscribe as i am posting a new content weekly thank you once again and i will see you in my next video bye bye